after the condemned person is brought into the death chamber from death row, there's a slight delay which the warden asks the defendant if he has anything to say. In some instances, they make a last statement. In some instances, they do not. And then the warden says, have a seat, please. And he doesn't say that facetiously. He says it seriously, because it is serious business. And the defendant is, in some cases, escorted to the electric chair, which is just a few feet away. In some instances, the person walks to the chair and sits down on his own power. He's strapped in the chair. The electrodes are affixed. And this all takes about a minute and a half. Then the executioner walks to a little room behind the electric chair, which is the power room. And uh, the first charge of electricity, which is 1,800 volts. This causes the body to lift up several inches from the chair in which he is strapped in causes the veins to pop out his neck and his hands, his face turns purple. In some instances, there is an order of burnt flesh. Occasionally, there is bleeding from the nose. A piece of cotton is placed under the mask which hides the face to catch the dripping of the blood. And then there's a second charge of electricity which is of a lower voltage, about 400 volts. That's held for about a minute. And then there's a third charge of electricity which is up to 1400 volts. And this is held also for about a minute. And all this takes around four or five minutes. And the total time of the time that the defendant walks into the death chamber until he's pronounced officially dead is around six minutes. And then the body is unstrapped, is placed on a hospital bed and wheeled out to a waiting Ambulance. Have you had occasion to communicate or to meet the persons that were executed? 